Moscow has stated that Russia must prepare for a long confrontation with the United States. Deputy Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation Sergei Ryabkov claimed this, that the aggressor country is full of determination. As Reuters writes, the war that has been going on in Ukraine for two and a half years has provoked the most serious confrontation between Russia and the West since the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, which is considered the closest to a nuclear war between the two superpowers, the USSR and the USA, during the so-called Cold War. It is noted that according to statements by official representatives of the Russian Federation, the conflict is now entering a dangerous phase. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been urging Kyiv's allies for months to allow Ukraine to launch longer-range Western missiles deep into Russia to limit Moscow's ability to strike. Ryabkov, who focuses on arms control and relations with Washington, said Moscow has no illusions about the relations given the bipartisan anti-Russian consensus in the United States, the publication says. In particular, Ryabkov said that Russia must prepare for a long-term confrontation with this country. He was quoted by the Russian state news agency RIA. We are ready for this in every sense. We are sending all warning signals to our adversary so that he does not underestimate our determination. Reuters also notes that Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin warned the West last week that Russia could use nuclear weapons if it was hit by conventional missiles. He also said Moscow would consider any attack on it backed by a nuclear power a joint attack. The Cold War was a global geopolitical, military, technological, economic and ideological confrontation on a world scale in 1946 to 1991 between two blocks of states with different social and economic systems. On the one hand, the socialist bloc led by the USSR, on the other, the capitalist bloc led by the USA. The conflict ended with the actual victory of the USA and the collapse of the USSR. The Cold War was accompanied by a race in conventional and nuclear weapons which sometimes threatened to lead to a third world war. According to researchers, although the US and USSR did not officially engage in direct military conflict, their rivalry for influence led to outbreaks of local armed conflicts in different parts of the world. The Sino-Soviet split, which began in the late 1950s and reached its peak in 1969, significantly weakened the position of the socialist bloc. China and several of its allies moved away from unconditional support for the USSR and confrontation with the US, which ultimately affected the outcome of the global confrontation. Hundreds of firefighters and volunteers in southern Greece battled a wildfire for a third day straight on Tuesday, in a blaze that has already killed two people and devastated a large forested area prompting pledges of assistance from other European Union countries. Three waterbombing aircraft from Italy and Croatia were due to arrive later Tuesday after Greece requested help through the 27-country bloc's emergency civil protection mechanism. The Greek Fire Service said more than 400 firefighters, assisted by 22 aircraft, were engaged against the blaze in the rugged mountains of Corinthia in the Peloponnese region. The authorities were optimistic that progress had been made as the main front of the blaze was out, leaving a large number of scattered fires. However, it remained unclear whether that success could be expanded on before winds whipped up and spread the blaze again. Officials ordered that another village be evacuated as a precaution Tuesday, a day after half a dozen similar orders were issued. A major highway that was closed overnight as flames swept close by was reopened on Tuesday. The blaze destroyed a historic church in the mountains and reportedly damaged buildings outside the threatened villages, but the fire service was not immediately able to provide further details. The two victims were identified as local residents who got trapped late Sunday by the fast-advancing blaze. Greece, like other southern European countries, is plagued every summer by destructive wildfires that have been exacerbated by global warming. Over the past few months, the fire service has had to cope with more than 4,500 wildfires. This year's had been flagged as the most dangerous fire season in two decades after the countryside was left parched by a protracted drought and early summer heat waves. Still, Greece's big investments in extra water bombing aircraft, warning drones and other equipment have led to most blazes being extinguished shortly after they broke out.